Hello everybody, welcome to episode number 17 of the Game Changers Podcast. My name is Quinn Sejis and it's a pleasure to be here with you, as always. Today's episode features a young man who has a passion for creating things. So much so that he has used his passion to create a brand and he's doing amazing, amazing things in his community. His name is Prince Faswa and I am pleased to introduce him to you. Hello Prince! How you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, and you? I'm great, man. Happy to have you on with us. You know, yeah. I always say that it's amazing to have young people like you, you know, young people who inspire others to do better and inspire others to dream and do big things. And I see you as a dreamer, you know, I see you as somebody who's aspiring to do big things. Tell me a little bit about yourself though. Who are you? Well, my name is Prince Foswa. I'm from a small community called Foswa Baudu. I'm 25 years of age and I'm a freelance designer. And I also own a clothing brand called Crimilon. Nice, nice. And, and we'll get into the details about your brand in a little bit. But you said that you are a graphic designer. Um, tell me how you got into this space. How did you become a graphic designer? I became a graphic designer by wanting to edit um, something for my brother. When he mm -hmm. passed away, I was nine years old. And my, 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 um, my sister has a friend called Aldrin. And right. I'm not I'm not sure which program he used at the time, but his work was neat. And he designed right. something for my brother's passing. And I always wanted to do one of my own. And at nine years old, I discovered my talent when I opened Paint for Windows XP. And I started editing like almost everything. Nice, yeah. nice. So I'm seeing that you, you started wanting to honor your brother, right? And you also had a passion yeah. for the neatness. You know, you liked, you liked how it clean it looked. Am I right? Yeah. Nice, nice. So, out of all the creative things that you can do, and other than the fact that, you know, you wanted to honor your, your brother, why graphic design as a job choice though as a as a profession that you want to go into why graphic design well i was always that kid with a wild imagination you know? nice so i figured that's the way i would express myself so sometimes i'd come with an idea and people would be like yo crazy for thinking that and then you know, I would show them that's exactly what it looks like in my head. And they'd be like, ugh, like, they'd be wow. Right. Right. So it was a way to express yourself. Yeah, that's how I express myself. Because I like that, man. Right. Yeah. So is, it, is this the only form of art that you do? Or do you do other forms of art? Outside of graphic design. No, I also do um, illustrating as well. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. So, so you're just a creative in general. Just a creative person. All right. Nice, Wait, I like that. Like, yeah, anything to do with art. That's, that's you. Yeah. You're the man. All right. I like that. Now, you mentioned a little bit earlier... And we can see, you know, the T-shirt on you. You mentioned that, you know, you have a brand, a brand of clothing. And the name of the brand of clothing is Creamy Loner. Why the name Creamy Loner, though? Well, I was, I can't remember the age, but at a, mm -hmm. a, a certain age, I always wanted a brand, right? I always wanted to represent yeah, who I am. So I, I'm, a, I'm someone I'm always on my own. In other terms, they, they would be like always on my own vibe. 
So I had this thing called Luna's Life that I started with, but I didn't want anything that was out there already. Because people right. were already using that name. So I wanted something that when you search, something unique that when you search, my stuff pop up right away. So I was yeah, still yeah. searching, you know, different names and to, to the point where I went to the beach with a friend of mine and I took a hard fall. And there's <laughs> this thing called drink milk. I was going all around the place when you go and you get hurt, when you get yeah, yeah. serious blows. And I was like, I started a movement on Snapchat after that backflip. And I was like, drink milk, drink milk. And it started trending on Snapchat. So whenever people drank milk, they would like hug me, make joke. Right, um, right. Sort of yeah. And then I, I took a, a can of um, carnation and I was like, I was like whipping it while I was promoting my brand. I was like, that's creamy, creamy, creamy. And then I put the Luna like that and I was like, just you no know, freestyling and promoting my brand. And it sounded, it sounded cool at the time. So I was like, you know what? I should go with Creamy Luna. And <laughs> Define that with my characteristics because I was going to be a reflection of my characteristics. My nice, nice. Yeah. So I, I saw, I realized that, so this happened almost quote unquote by accident. So, so something happened to you and you just decided, you know, okay, let me, you know, do this in good fun. And then you realize, yeah. wait, th- this is catching on and this sounds cool. And then you decided to, you know, create a brand. You know, it, it's amazing where ideas come from sometimes, you know. Would you agree with that? Yeah. So that was making For fun sure. of myself. Right, right. Yeah, you were teasing yourself and then it became a brand. And I think, you know, sometimes the best ideas come from these places, you know, some places that you never expected them to come from. Game Changers proudly supports Kids Health Creative a publishing house encouraging children ages 4 to 12 to live healthy lifestyles all while having good clean fun. Get their latest book, Be Smart, at 10% off when you use promo code QUEENST at checkout. That's Q-U-I-N-N-S-T at checkout. Get yours today. Hello everybody. I hope you're enjoying the episode. This episode was made possible through a platform called Riverside FM. It's a platform that I've grown to love and it really does justice to creators. Unlike Zoom or other platforms, it records content locally and then uploads it to the cloud so you have a seamless video. If you are a creator and looking to get into this space, this is the platform for you. Click the link down below to get started today. Want access to all things Game Changers? Here's what to do. Visit our website at www.changers758.myshopify.com Get access to the latest podcast. Check out our weekly chess moves. Get yourself some neat merch and so much more. We look forward to seeing you. Log on today. For sure. I like that, man. So, why can't people get your merchandise? Well, we do not own a physical store as yet, but people could also place their orders through Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. And... We'll also let them know where to pick up since we don't have a physical store. Okay, all right. So from from what I'm understanding, you work through retailers. So you work through people who have your products. 
but they don't really have it. It's like they're they're just doing delivery. Okay, I understand. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Is there a plan to eventually put your products in? Well, your physical store first of all, and also other stores. So like, um, maybe you, any clothing store like Hobby in Saint Lucia, or these type of stores. Yeah, like taxi. Yeah. Yes. I was going to be have my brand in taxi for sure. And I've been trying. I don't really know the owner for taxi, so, and they don't even sell local. So if I get my products inside that store. Yeah, yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah. It's a big thing for me. I feel for like sure. I made it. Yeah. For yeah, man, for sure, for sure. So I can see that happening. Um okay, so you getting yourself into taxi. Um other than taxi though, do you see yourself establishing, you know, a location for yourself, you know, a a place that sells creamy loader products and whatever other brand that you come up with yeah i see myself owning stores so not one store stores, stores multiple stores multiple stores mm -hmm. especially around st lucia so that for sure be easier for for persons to to to, to purchase my products nice i like that i like that now, I know that you're from Barbano. You know, you said that you're from Barbano. And I'm seeing a trend in St. Lucia. It's a very good trend. You know, sometimes we only highlight the bad things that young people do. But I see an amazing trend in Barbano in particular. You know, I'm realizing that there are so many young entrepreneurs coming from your community. Well, the various communities in Barbano. Because Barbano has many communities. Why do you think that so many entrepreneurs come from Barbono? Well, Barbono people love to discover. So I would say that's, that's one of the main things. They love to go out there and find new stuff to do. So I guess that's the reason why Barbono people are so skillful and they come out as Nice. Yeah. And what about, you know, the talent that hasn't been recognized yet? Not just in your community, but elsewhere in St. Lucia and in the Caribbean at large. You know, how can the government or, or society in a whole get to these people and, you know, really show them as important people in our community and champion them and give them opportunities? What, what advice would you give to them? Uh, like you said, they should um, build a foundation for us, mm -hmm. um, put events and things in place to show the talent of the youth because there are many talented youth and skillful youth out there and they're not getting that, that push, they're not getting that light where, where people see all what they have in store. Until they grow, and some some may may some may, like I would say, turn to some other stuff, from the criminal activities or whatever it may be. So they really need to try to get the youth on the right path, and give them, give them a platform to show what they have. To the I world. agree with that hundred percent. No, give them an opportunity, and you know. I always say that, you know, young people are just waiting for the chance, you know, the opportunity to do well. You know, sometimes it's not that they want to go down the wrong path, but, you know, they just don't have any other choice. They don't see any other choice at least. So yeah. the, our government and society in general, so, you know, people who are established already should give young people more opportunities for sure. All right. For sure, I like that. All right, so moving on, how can people get in contact with you? Well, you could contact me on the on the um, business pages. 
at Crimilon on Facebook, at Crimilon on Instagram, mm -hmm. and also via WhatsApp. The number is on 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 the on the number is on the pages. So yeah, for sure. All right, and we'll leave the links down below. Do you guys have a yeah. website as well? Yes, the website is crimilona.com. You can purchase okay. from there. You can send messages. Yeah. For sure, for sure. We so we'll leave your links down below. And people will definitely, you know, get in contact with you and buy your merchandise, man. I think that's an amazing thing. I think that, you know, your stuff looks good. So they will definitely purchase that for sure. So we'll leave the links down below. Quality. My other question to you. What advice would you give somebody who wants to become just like you? Who wants to become an entrepreneur? Stay focused, keep out whatever you're trying to achieve in life. You're destined for greatness. Don't let anybody discourage you and tell you what you should do or what you shouldn't do. Just go for it and don't turn back. I like that. That's amazing advice. That's great advice, man. Stay stay the course, man. I I like yeah, no that. Matter, no matter no matter what you do, maybe small steps, you will get there. No matter all the yes. and tribulations go through that i've been through a lot and i keep going which is why i'm where i am right now so just stay on track no matter what mm -hmm, for sure and i see you as an inspiration to people you know who do not know you know what life has for them and if you could have done it for sure they can do it too i believe that for sure I love that. All right, bro. So we're moving on to the quick hitters segment of the interview. These are light-hearted questions. These are questions that, you know, that will tell our people a little bit more about you personally. I mean, I know you said you're a loner. You know, you sound like an introvert. Um, I am too, believe it or not. But this will be a segment that will tell them a little bit about Prince a person. You know, tell you a little bit about yourself. So let's start from the first question. And we ask everybody this question. And everybody has a different answer. Apple or Android? And why? Apple. Because 100% security. Mm -hmm. And another reason is because you would search for some app on Android. And you would see... A million apps, and you know, then you <laughs> know exactly what you're looking for. So, right. I had a because there are so many um food party apps, and you can bypass right, apps. right. I'd go, with, I'd go with Apple for sure. Makes sense, makes sense. I understand that. And I realize that's a lot of like graphics designers and like people who in the media generally take Apple over Android because I guess it has more features and you can do more of it. Yeah. Yeah, better features. For sure. Makes sense. Okay, my next question to you. So you're invited to dinner, right? With three people from history. Now, history could be any time. History could have been yesterday. History could have been five years from, well, five years ago. History could have been a hundred years ago. So, so free people story from history. Who are you inviting with you? My sister, my mom, and my dad. Okay. That's fair enough. I have nothing to quarrel with you for that. You know, that's a perfect group. So just family at dinner. I like that man. That's that's a good list. I, I agree with that hundred percent. Yeah. My last question to you is who would you like to see on Game Changers? Who would you like to see me speak to? Akim the Dreamer Photography. Akim the Dreamer Photography. So he's a St. Lucian photographer as well, right? Yes, he's from St. Lucia. He lives in Barbosa, Barbono. See, again, more Barbono. That's fine. I like that. I like to see Akim the Dreamer on 100%, man. 
I'll definitely, you know, give him a shout and we'll link up and, and we'll have an interview like this. So I, I like, you know, what is going on in Babano. I like what you're doing, bro. And I want to encourage you to keep it up, man. Continue being an inspiration for young people. Continue showing the youth that, you know, there's a better way out. They don't have to do the drugs. They don't have to do crime. You know, they can become somebody like you. They can be somebody like, like Jaloui. They can be somebody like, you know, all these entrepreneurs in Barbano. So thank you for coming on and continue being human. Yeah, thank you for having me as well. For sure. I am happy to have you. All right, guys. This has been Game Changers, episode number 17. And so thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, stay hungry. Bye-bye. <laughs>